You what? <laughs> I never thought we'd see the day, but it's actually happening. Salutations, I'm the Ventral Vatum, and I'm making this quick video because I've been shaking in my seat. News has dropped that the PC version of the Master Chief Collection is getting a bunch of Halo Cut content added to the game. We're getting pre-release weapons such as the CE rendition of the SMG, the Gravity Wrench, the old Bolt Action Sniper, and even the Microwave Gun. Vehicles like the Halo 1 Spectre, the Kestrel, the Doozy, the Stealth Tank, a drivable Uber Chassis civilian car, and the Piglet are all coming as well. I'm especially happy about a proper Uber Chassis because, uh, mine kinda sucks. Anyways, let's not forget about new characters. The Macworld version of the Elites, the Blind Wolves, the Thorn Beasts, the Keelbugs, and even some that we haven't seen before like the Slugman, they're all coming. And that's not all, because there's a whole slew of different iterations of Master Chief that are coming as well. Oh goodness, that Macworld Spartan. Ugh, chef's kiss. However, for me, the biggest takeaway from this announcement are the restorations of entirely scrapped Halo 2 levels. And as someone who's working on a Halo 2 mod dedicated to restore as much content into the game as I can, this is like hearing dinner bells. The E3 2003 demo level is coming to MCC. The E3 2003 demo level is coming to MCC. It's not going to be the exact demo that was shown nearly two decades ago, but the level geometry is going to be ported to the MCC version of Halo 2, running on map scripts that will closely resemble the E3 presentation. If you think this level is what has me excited the most, you'd be mistaken. Yeah, the E3 demo is a dream come true, but there's a cut Halo 2 level that has always been my personal favorite to think about. And would you know it, it's coming. Alpha Moon the original ending level to the Heretic chapter of Halo 2's campaign. They actually posted a gameplay reel of a work in progress iteration of the map, which I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go watch it without commentary. All of this provides a serious game changer to the modding landscape for the MCC. All we need now are the rest of the mod tools, Steam Workshop support, and player hosted dedicated servers that will allow for mods to be online, and we've reached the golden age of Halo modding. That'll be it for now, because I seriously got my hands full now with the Halo 2 Uncut mod, now that we have all this information out in the wild. If, and only if, you enjoyed hearing about all this news, hit the like button, leave a comment sharing your excitement to appease that juicy algorithm, and subscribe for more Halo content from this channel. I also have a Patreon where you can voluntarily donate to further support the channel. I'd like to thank my Sanghealy Zealots, as well as counselors Broly Martinez, Konlar Daytona, C3 Sabretooth, Jero Sunder, Joshua Fisher, Just Larm, Kyle Dealman, Rad Mayan, Rosie Muscovy, Scatman, Sean T, Synonymous Hooligan, The Cave Potato, and UNSC Shooter. This is the Ventral Vatum. Always remember that you matter more than you think you do, and I'll see you on the great journey.